Hello, good evening. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Can you turn on your cameras, please? This follows students. Okay. And then this follows the verb. And then whatever. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. So, Thanks for asking. How's it going? Hello, good night, teacher. Good night, Carla. Good evening. Good, remember, good, evening. good night is when we finish. Okay, when we are going to sleep, we say good night. Otherwise, is good evening. Okay? Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you? That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change. Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you? Okay, Abdulio. You got your camera on. Car Carla, can you turn on your camera too, please? Okay. Okay, and Guadalupe, good evening. How was your day at work? Pretty busy, tiring, exhausting. Exhausting, in my case, exhausting. Really, very hard today. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Long hours too, huh? Yes, around 12 hours. Around 12 hours? Yes. Oh my God, you work really hard. Yes. <laughs> Good evening, Brenda, how are you? Hello, Guadalupe. Are you there, Guadalupe? Good evening. Hello, Brenda. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Fine. Okay, very good. How was your day at work? Um, very busy. Very busy. Brenda, can you sí. turn on your camera, please? Okay, very good, Brenda. Andrea, good evening. How are you tonight? Hello. Fine. How, how was your day at work today? It was fine, thank you. Okay, very good. Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay. Thank you. Good evening, Mario. How are you today? Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. And you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work okay. today? It's very good. Very Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear okay. this. Okay. And for the one that had a Thank hard you. day today, don't worry. You are going to relax in this class. Okay. So uh -huh. let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So don't worry. Uh, good evening, Mario. How are you today? Okay. Uh, as you know, uh, you are supposed to follow some uh, guidelines, okay? Good evening, Mario. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. I'm fine. What about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day at work today? Mm, that was great. It was great. Very good. I'm glad yeah. to hear that, okay? Maria Reyes, good evening. How are you today? How are you? <clears throat> Fine, thank you. Excuse me. Okay, very good. Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay, okay. Okay, very good. Okay, in honor to the time, we're gonna wait a couple of minutes and then we are going to start. 
Ok. Ok, ok. Ok. okay. Quite, 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 quite. <laughs> Good evening, Guadalupe. Are you there? Okay, let's get started. Uh, okay, okay as you know, let me let me present myself. Okay, so okay, as you know, this is uh, Inglés Cooperativo, and we work uh, together with Insafor. And you are right now on a program called English Online. And you are in intermediate model number one. And my name is Robert Dequa. And I'm going to be your facilitator, okay, during this model, okay? Now, let's check at the things that we have to do, okay? The students' cooperation, okay? Number one, platform completion. Before coming to the video conference, you have to watch the video, okay? Do the knowledge check of that video conference or even go ahead and do other uh, uh, videos in advance, no problem. And do the knowledge check in advance, no problem, okay? Then you have to attend video conference to ask and comment about doubts or topics that were unclear in the lesson <laughs> or while doing the exercises on the knowledge check. Then students should participate on the forum after each lesson. And this is imperative, okay? And I put it in Spanish so you can uh, follow it clearly. Okay. El avance mínimo esperado es semana uno y semana dos. You have to do section one, section two, and section three. And have done the midterm test. Okay. By the end of the second week. On week number three, you have to finish section four. And by the end of week four, you have to finish section five and have taken the final test. Final. Okay, do you have any questions? No questions. No questions? No questions. No. no questions. Okay, very no questions good. Right now, I, I don't have any questions. Okay, now, as you know, let me let me share with you what are the things that you are supposed to do, okay? And I don't know if you can see what I have on the screen, okay? This is the platform. So all of you, I understand that you know how to get to the, to uh, English Intermedio mo Modulo 1 platform, okay? And yeah. then that you have to do section one, a time to remember, and at least, at least you have to watch the video, okay? Like for tomorrow, I expect you, I expect you to have work the, this one, number two, 1 1.4, simple past statements with B, and also 1.7 for tomorrow's class and have done knowledge check 1.2, 1.5 and 1.8 for tomorrow, okay? And in the video conference, we are going to clear what are your doubts or what are the things that are not clear or misunderstandings that you may have, okay? Do you have any questions? 
And teacher, uh, uh, yes. I already I already finished uh, those that's that section, and so I can but, continue with the with the section number two. Yes, if you finish all this section, that's okay. Okay. Now, this video class is for you to check something that you didn't understand, something that it was not clear on all okay. on the videos and also on the knowledge check on the homework. Okay? okay. So if you have any questions, we can clear them out today. And tomorrow you go ahead and do section number two. And in tomorrow's class, you can also ask me if you have something that is not clear, that is confusing for you, you can ask me about section two too. Because the purpose is that you work all the platforms, okay? The platform okay. consists of the lesson objective and the video, okay? There is a video explaining the objective of the class. And then yeah. there is a homework, okay? So yeah. you're supposed to do as much as you can. And if something is not clear, this is what the video conference, this video conference is about. Okay, okay. To clear out any misunderstandings, to clear out confusions, and that you can tell me, teacher, explain me this because I don't understand it. Is that clear? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's clear. Okay, that okay. is how it works. Okay, that is how it works. So you are supposed to go and do as much as you can. Okay, you can go and if you say, oh, right here, I'm going to stop because this is not clear. I'm going to ask the teacher in the video conference. And I am here to help you. Okay? Okay, okay, teacher. Very Thanks. good. Any, any questions? Anybody? How many of you watched the first video and did the homework, number one? I'm going to go one by one. Be honest. Be honest. <laughs> Okay, Obtulio, did you watch the video, the first video and the homework? No, I watched only 1.1. 1.1, okay, only the, the video, okay. And the homework, the homeworks, the knowledge check are very easy, very easy, very simple, okay? But, but, and then again, the knowledge check, you didn't get 80%, you got seven, you got 60%. You can redo it again until you get a hundred percent, no problem. Okay. So you can go ahead, take the take the knowledge check, do it. And if you have low score, you can redo it and redo it and redo it, just in case. Okay. 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 Now, Carla. Have you worked? Have you seen the first video? No yet. Not yet. No yet. And not you haven't done the knowledge check. Okay, for tomorrow, I expect you to have worked uh, the first video, the second video, and the third video, and have done the knowledge check. So for tomorrow's video conference, you can ask me questions. Okay. Okay. Andrea, how about you? Um, I try to, I try, but I have problems with the page because this is my first time on the page, and mm -hmm. uh, and I was trying to to active my account, but but I can't. You couldn't. You, okay. I couldn't. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, are the rest listening to me? Good evening. Yes, yes. Very good. Very good. So I'm going to take your name, Andrea, and uh, we have a support team, an administrative <laughs> team. So I'm going to take your name and I'm going to provide them your name so they can call you and they can guide you through the platform. Now, okay, let me thank you. Now, let me share with you. OK, this is what you need to know to do in order to do, to go. OK. This is for the video conference, okay? That is for the video conference, okay? That is for the video conference. This is the meeting ID. Yes, in case you don't have it, the password, 
This is the WhatsApp group, okay? And uh, let me see, this is how you get into the platform, but we will guide you. We will guide you. I will call uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning, one of the guys to give you a call so he can guide you to get into the platform so you can start doing the platform, okay? Okay. Very good. Uh, Mario Marenko, have you worked uh, on the platform? Yeah, I already finished them. Uh, okay, you already horrible. finished section one, right? Do you so have one, any yeah. questions? Do you have any questions? No. Are you sure? No. Okay, yeah, very good. I'm sure. Maria Hernandez. Maria, turn on your microphone, please. Have you worked on the platform? Not yet. I don't understand. You don't understand. You have to get to the platform. This is the platform. Uh. Okay, they have given you uh, instructions on how to get to the platform. So you come over here, you come to the uh, English Intermedio Module 1, which are you are allowed to do. So you come over here and then you go to section number one, you click on section number one, like this. And then the name is a time to remember. Okay, so we you have to watch, and this is for all of you guys. You have to come over here and then there's a video. I'm gonna place the video. I'm not going to watch okay. the video. You have to watch it before, okay? So. Here is the video. And on the video, they explain, they explain the lesson, okay? This is like the first. Okay, so they explain the lesson. You click on the video, you watch the video, you listen to the explanations, and once, what, once that you have finished, okay, you come to section number one again. You come over here, section number one, and then once that you have listened to the video, watch the video, Come on, don't play with my feelings, okay? Okay, now once that you have watched the, the video, then you come and do the knowledge check. The knowledge check are five questions, five questions, that's all, based on the video, okay? So for example, choose the best response to this question. Did she play soccer in high school? So you are going to select which is the best response. Choose the best response to this question. When did you graduate from college? And then you are going to select which is the best response. You see, there are only five items, okay? Is that clear? And yes, once that you have finished, you submit. Now, let me explain. <clears throat> Let me explain all of you. If you don't get 80% in the homework, you can redo it. You can redo it until you get whatever you want, 80, 100%. The minimum that INSA4 requires is 80%, okay? So you may retake it and get 100%. The platform is friendly, okay? You can take it and retake it and retake it. Are we clear, Maria? Yes. Okay, remember, you yes. have to watch the video and do the, the knowledge check. Now, by any, by any chances, is, is not clear for you. That's why we have these video conferences. Because you come and for example, I have here, Okay, for example, I have lesson one objective. 
by the end of this class in the video, video one, I don't know if I am sharing this. Let me see. Okay, can you see? Okay, by the end, this is the, the first video. By the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, where, and various regular and irregular verbs. Example, I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense, okay? So you come, you see the video, you do the homework and you say, teacher, I this is not clear for me. This is confusing. So I will explain you. For example, the past tense of the verb be, can you see it? Hello? Can you see it yeah. on the screen? Yeah. Okay, so you use in the affirmative, I was. I was. Yes, teacher. I was in China last year. You were in the United States. He was absent last night. She was in Paris. Okay, and this is how you form the affirmative. You use was for I, for he, for she, and for he. And you use you and we and they, you use where, okay? The negatives, the same thing. Everything you use the contraction. I wasn't, you weren't, he, she, and it wasn't, we, you, and they weren't. Okay? Okay. And then the interrogative, were you in Paris? I wasn't in class, yesterday was Sunday. Now, in the past tense, this is the only verb, the verb to be, this is the only verb that it makes its own questions and its own affirmative and negative sentences. Okay, for the other verbs, For the other verbs, we are going to use the past tense of the verb, as you can see here. Okay? You play, he cooked, she listened, it rained, we ate, we drank. Okay? That is for the affirmatives. And for the negatives, we have one auxiliary. We use did. I didn't. And the contraction I didn't. didn't. And look, I because didn't. did is the past tense of do, the verb, the main verb is going to go on its base form. Can you see? Base form, base form, base form, base form, base form. Why? Because the verb is in the, the auxiliary verb is in the past. So for all for all the other verbs, we are going to use did, except, except for the verb be. For the verb be, we are going to use was and where. Questions? Mm, no, I don't have any question. Anybody, please. No, I... Yes, in, for yes. the moment it's clear. For the moment it's clear. Yeah. Yes. Andrea? It's clear. Is clear for you? Yes. Maria, yeah. is clear for you? Yes, it's clear. Brenda, is clear for you? Yes. Okay. Maria Hernandez, is clear for you? Irving, is clear for you? Yes, it's clear, teacher. Okay, Tatiana, is clear for you? Yes, it's clear. Cindy, is clear for you? But remember. It's clear so far. Okay, but rem ah, okay, very good. I like that, honesty. But remember, 
Before coming to the video conference, before coming to the video conference, you have to go to the platform, okay? You have to go to the platform and first of all, watch, watch the video, watch the video, watch the video, which is right here, the video. Watch the video right here. You're going to watch the video. This is only the objective. You have to watch the video and do the knowledge check. Listen clearly. For tomorrow, I need you to watch video number one, video number two, and video number three. Okay? And do the knowledge check for video number one, the knowledge check for video number two and the knowledge check for video number three. If you don't have any problems, you can do more if you want. It, like for example, what the, there is a student that he already finished section one. So that is okay. So while you are doing, while you are doing this, there is something that you don't understand so in tomorrow's video conference, you tell me, Mr. Dequa, can you explain me this? Because it's not clear for me. So I will be glad to explain you that. Is that clear? That this is how it works, this program. You have to watch the videos. You have to do the knowledge check. And if something is not clear, you come to the video conference and then you tell me, can you explain me this? Is that clear? It's clear, teacher. It's clear. Yes? For everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes? Do you yes. have any questions? Yes. Do you have any questions? Va, miren, esto es motivación. No sean tímidos. Si tienen alguna pregunta, yo estoy aquí para ayudarles. ¿Ok? Lo único... Yo tengo una pregunta, teacher. Diga. Perdón. Eh... Usted tiene una presentación, la que nos acaba de mostrar con el verbo to be y cómo se desglosa todo eso. Esa presentación, ¿usted nos la va a enviar o nos la va a hacer llegar por algún medio? Bueno, la va a subir a la plataforma o por el WhatsApp. Yo digo como para tenerla para... Si ustedes eh, quieren, se la, se la puedo mandar a su correo, ¿ok? Ah, bueno, la puedo, la puedo pegar en el, el grupo de WhatsApp. Toda, toda. Ahora, el propósito y lo que sí quiero que quede claro, y esto es lo único que voy a decir en español, ¿verdad? Es, primero, usted tiene que trabajar la plataforma. Antes de venir a la videoconferencia, usted tiene que trabajar la plataforma. ¿Qué consiste la plataforma? Hay un objetivo, ahí dice el objetivo de esa lección. Usted tiene que ver el video, ahí se lo van a explicar. Y no hay problema. Ok, yo no entendí. Vi el video dos y tres veces. Pero hay cosas que todavía no están claras. Está bien. Voy a hacer el knowledge check. Son cinco preguntitas. Hay veces que cuatro. Y ah, esta se la voy a preguntar al teacher. Y también esto le voy a pedir que me explique. Y usted viene a la videoconferencia. Y yo le voy a eh, clarificar todas esas dudas. Cualquier confusión. ¿Me explico? Ok, por el día de ahora, yo aquí tengo material, o sea, no hay ningún problema, yo tengo material. Y si usted necesita más refuerzo, no hay ningún problema. Usted me puede accesar a través del de grupo, ¿de acuerdo? Perfecto. Yo quiero que tengan esa confianza, y que, pero también necesito de que ustedes vayan, vean los videos y usted aquí no tiene límite. Por ejemplo, no sé quién fue, Mario... Marenco, parece. Yeah. Eh, Mario Marenco ya terminó la sección 1. Y él no tuvo ningún problema. Ok, está bien. Ahora, si él hubiera tenido alguna pregunta, él aquí me la va a hacer porque me va a decir, Tiche, yo ya hice esto y ¿por qué me sale mala? ¿Por qué, no sa ¿Por qué en, el, en el knowledge check me sale mala? Entonces yo le voy a clarificar a él. Y así espero que todos trabajemos. Que ustedes vean el video, primero hagan el knowledge check y usted puede avanzar hasta donde usted quiera. 
Okay. De hecho, si puede hacer el examen mi, mi hey, term, y el final ya, no hay ningún problema. Dígame. Ah, vale. Okay. Tengo una consulta. Eh, Va, vamos, vamos a atender a Irving primero y luego Linda. Ok, vamos a ver, Irving. Ok. Ok, eh, teacher, eh, I watched the video. Um, I released the, the questions. Um, I remember uh, the teacher in the video um, explained that the WH questions. Okay. Um, I don't have a clear the WH questions the, for the did. Okay. With did. Okay, huh? very good. With did. No problem. With did. No problem. Okay, Linda. Tengo una consulta. Eh, su forma de trabajar es que nosotros veamos los videos y usted solo nos va a aclarar las dudas, no nos va a dar explicación de lo que está en la plataforma. Eh, eh, prácticamente, yo le puedo dar la explicación completa del video. ¿Ok? Pero Ajá, la pero... tarea usted la va a hacer. Lo que me va a decir no, es que no me sale bien. Ajá. O sea, no es, es correcto, que yo tra... eso sí. Vaya, permítame. No es que yo trabaje así. Este programa trabaja así. ¿Ok? Usted ve el video. ¿Ok? Dice, ok, esto no lo entendí. Se lo voy a preguntar al, al profesor. Puede ser que usted ve el video una, dos, tres veces. Y todavía no le quedó claro. Esto se lo voy a preguntar al teacher. Voy a hacer el knowledge check. Eh, si me saqué 100, pues. Ya, pero usted tiene una duda ahí. Va. Usted viene y en la videoconferencia usted me pregunta, ok, esto es lo que no entendí. Y yo estoy en obligación de clarificarse. Cualquier cosa. Es más, yo tengo todos los temas de toda la sección ya listos para poder explicarle lo que usted quiere y hacer unos ejercicios de refuerzo. ¿Me explico? Así es como trabaja la plataforma. Usted tiene que ingresar a la plataforma y comenzar a hacer, eh, o ver los videos, eh, tomar nota, y lo que no le quede claro, eso es lo que me va a venir a preguntar a mí. ¿Ok? Y yo le voy a clarificar. ¿Está claro? ¿Linda? Perfecto. Sí, vale. entiendo de que solo nos va a explicar lo, lo que no entendamos de la plataforma. Yo sé manejar la plataforma. Ok, excelente. Pero esa era mi consulta porque es como el primer maestro que nos dice primero vean los videos y lo que no entiendan me lo preguntan porque la mayoría como que una clase de todo lo que es el video y después este, uno hace las preguntas cuando ya está llenando la plataforma. Por eso sí. consultaba. Ok, sí. La cuestión es si usted ve, eh, Linda, le voy a compartir. Y si usted ve, ok, a solo aquí en la sección 1 tenemos cinco clases, tenemos cinco, pero solo tenemos cuatro clases, ¿verdad? Entonces nos estaríamos atrasando una para comenzar. Sí, en la sección dos tenemos cuatro, vamos cabales. Entonces lo que yo necesito es que usted vea el video, que usted eh, me pregunte, mire, ¿qué es esto? No entiendo esto. Y yo con todo, y, y, y es más, como le digo, yo ya tengo la clase para explicarle hasta el último detalle. ¿Va? Por ejemplo, aquí, ¿cómo se hacen las afirmativas? Esto es para darle un ejemplo, Linda. Ya voy a, ir, ya voy a, eh, a, 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 a evacuar la pregunta de Irving, ¿ok? Vaya, entonces nos venimos a Positive with B. ¿Verdad? Las oraciones afirmativas con B. I was cold. You were tired. He was in the garden. She was late. It was sunny. We were on holiday. They were hungry. Okay, so I use was with I, with he, with she, and with it. And I use where for you, we, and they to talk about Be in the past. Cero estar en el pasado. Yes, Cindy, can you tell me? The screen is freezing, oh, teacher. Yes. 
Ah, the, ah, the screen is freezing. It's frozen. Okay. Frozen, sorry. Frozen, no problem, no problem. Yes, can I ask you something? Yes, please. Okay, uh, I have done the knowledge 1.2, but in the question number three, I get four. Um, well, the, the sentences is like, I grew up in Houston, Texas, but the, the answer that I did was uh, where you grew up. So uh -huh. I need that you explain me which is the correct answer and why, because I don't clarify with that because uh, for example is if I am telling the, the answer before the question, okay. but I don't clarify what is the, the correct question for that okay. answer. No problem. Do you understand me? <laughs> yes, I understood you perfectly, Cindy. Okay, okay, thank you. This is double H questions, okay? Where okay. did I go? Where did you play? What did he cook? So you see, in the questions, we need to use the auxiliary did with all with all the verbs except the verb to be. Because the verb to be, the verb to be makes its own affirmatives, its own negatives, and its own questions. Is that clear? Cindy, está claro hasta ahí. Yeah. El yes. El verbo but... solo estar, él no necesita el auxiliar. Él solo va a hacer sus preguntas en pasado, sus negativas en pasado. Él solo. Pero para cualquier otro verbo, oh. yo necesito el verbo auxiliar did que ya está en pasado. Did is the past tense of do. Como ya está en pasado, el verbo tiene que ir en su forma base. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro eso? Vaya. Sí. Entonces, sí. cuando yo sí. quiero hacer, when I want to make questions in the simple past, I have to say, like right here, where, where did you go to school? And that's what happened in the platform, Cindy. You didn't use did. You say where you grew up. Is where did you grow up? Okay, it's, so is the second one the correct answer, right? Let me see. Let me check. I'm going to check right now. Okay, uh, I think it's the second one. Okay, let me see. A time to remember, okay. It's loading right now, but is that clear then your questions? Yeah, so yes. far it's clear. Okay, very good. Let me see. Is that was a knowledge check? Come on. Okay, knowledge check 1.5, I think. Okay, it's loading. <laughs> Now, the screen is frozen again, teacher. Ah, okay. Wait, wait, wait. That will be 1.2. No, it's 1.5. Oh. Okay, this one, right? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 1.2, that is correct. Okay, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 1.2. This is only the bird to be. Okay, here we go. One point two. Okay, let's see which one is the one that you're talking about. What number? Aha, uh -huh, this one. I number three, right? I grew up in Houston, yes. Texas. Yes, that so is. So, what happened. do you think is correct? The this second one, one right now, because you explain. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It's the first it was, one. It's the, it, it the first one. Is the it's first, first one, one because the auxiliary is already in the past, so you need only the base form. So that is correct. 
now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. the verb is already in the past. Yes, the verb is already in the past. Let me show you. I'm going to show you the and for question. the And for the answer? Uh, no. Okay, wait. So remember, in the questions, if you use the auxiliary did, the verb is going to go on base form. And can you see did, did, did? The verb goes on base form. This is with double H question. That means with, uh, with information. But I have here yes and no question. The answer is yes or it's no. For example, did you play? Yes. Did he cook? No. And look, the auxiliary is did. But what is the form of the main verb? The form of the main verb is base form. You see, in the present. In the present. Why? Because the auxiliary is already in the past. Is that clear? Is that clear for you, Irving? Yes, is that clear now? It's clear. Okay. And I have exercises, more exercises. For example, here. Okay. Uh, you can say, okay, for example, how is question number two? Okay. Can you tell me, anybody? It's frozen the screen again, teacher. Where did you? Okay. Can you see it now? Can you see the screen? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes. What is the second? What is the second question? Uh huh. When Tell me, arrived? don't be afraid. When, when did, did she arrive? Did she exactly. When arrive? did she, when did she arrive? arrive? And when? that is perfect. When did she arrive? And that is exactly what we want. Okay. That is exactly what we want. Can you see? Okay. That is correct answer. Okay. We can do the next one, or we can do whatever. Which one do you want? The next one. The next one, okay. Yeah. How is the next one? Why, Why did she eat, eat, so eat, so eat so much? Did she eat, did he Why eat so did much? Why he eat so much? So much. Much. And you see, it's the same mechanics, okay? To make questions, okay? Now, what you have to, what you have to look at is that you can do this with any verb except for the verb to be. The verb to be makes its own affirmative, its own negative, and its own question. For example, I was cold, you were tired. And I have examples right here. What is number one? Can you see it? I, I Can you see the screen? School. I was at school. school. I was at school. What is number? What is this one? We? We were playing. 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 What is this one? She? She was. She was, she was in bed. Okay. And this one? You are sad. You were. No, you are. You were. In the present. You were sad. You were sad. That is correct. Can you see Okay, and somebody asked me, can I, do you want to send me this? Yeah, I can send it to you, no problem. Okay, and you can do the exercises. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Now, that is the affirmative. Now, we're going to go with the negatives. Now, the negative is, I was not sleepy. Contraction, I wasn't I sleeping. I wasn't, not to, I wasn't. Uh -huh, he was in a school. It wasn't cold, okay? Now, exercises, make negatives. It wasn't hot. So what is the next one? I wasn't I, happy. I wasn't, I wasn't happy. happy. Now, this one, they? They were. They were. They were, were, uh -huh, were working. Were working. working. The dog? The dog wasn't the dog wasn't fast. Wasn't fast. Wasn't fast. That's correct. Uh, my dad wasn't reading. Uh-huh. My dad, because he's he, my dad 
Wasn't reading. Reading. Wasn't reading. reading. Yeah. You see? Very easy, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. those are negative. Yeah. Those are negative. Now, let's go with a interrogative. Here are how to make questions. You see, as we say, interrogative was and were in the first position for yes and no question. Okay, no problem. So that's what we have right here. Was I sleepy? Were you late? Was he at the cinema? And remember, this is possible only <laughs> with this verb. With the verb be in the past, only that verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have okay. any questions? No. No. Okay. No, so you don't have any questions? Let's do this question. What is number one? Were you at home? Exactly. Were you at home? What is what is this one? Was dinner ready? Was dinner ready? Very good. The chickens in the field. So where? Were. Exactly. Where the chickens, Where the in, the chickens in the field. And remember, very easy. If it is plural, where? Where? If it is singular, was. I. I. Uh -huh. Was. Uh. For I, he, she, and it. Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that is with the verb yeah. be. Now, ah, in double H question would be where were you born? Or where were you? How was she? You see, I place the double H word, I place it in the first position. And then the verb to be. And then the complement, as it was explained in the video. So, is that clear? Okay. Yeah, clear. Now yeah. let's make questions. I have questions right here. What is question number one? Uh, let me see. Uh, what, to, where okay, were wait, you? Wait, wait, wait. Tired. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. Were you tired? Okay, no, let's do number. Yeah, were you tired? Okay, where? Were you tired yesterday? Were you tired yesterday? Okay, no problem. Now, let's do this one. This is with double H. Okay, when? Was uh, he be a doctor? No. Ah, no, sorry. The question is. Was the weather good? No, the question is, was no. he a doctor? A doctor, sorry. Yes, a doctor. Was he a doctor when he was young? When he was young. Okay. Él era doctor cuando, cuando estaba joven. Was he a doctor when he was young? Now, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Because we have more. Uh -huh. Let's do this one. Number, were, number were 10. Were, where? 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 Now, where? Where is the verb to be for you? Where is the verb to be for you? Where? Where? Where, 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 where you, be. you? Where were you? That's all. Donde estabas? Where were you? Exactly. Okay, the next one. What? What was? What was? What was? Noise. noise. That noise. What was that noise? Is that clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, I want to see your faces. I want you to tell me and be honest. Do you understand? Brenda, is it clear for you? If it is not clear, I can repeat it. We have we have 15 minutes. I can repeat this. No problem. But you see, I want you to go and watch the video first. And when you come to me, Aha, teacher, I don't understand this. And I I know what to do. Is that clear? Tatiana, how do you feel, Tatiana? Sorry? Do you understand, Tatiana? Do you have questions? 
I I understand. You understand, Andrea? Do you understand? Yes. Yes. I understand. Maria Reyes, do you understand, Maria? Yes, this night I repeat, repeat, repeat the verb to be, teacher. Okay. Cindy? Yes, I got it, I understand. Linda? Yes, I understand. Okay, Antonio? Yes, I understand. Ivan? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Lily? Yes, teacher. Yes? Very good. Uh, Mario, he knows. He, he asked me. Eleonora, do you understand? I understand, teacher. Okay. Of Julio? Yes, it's clear. Okay. Now, to end up, we say that that was with the verb to be. Now, let's work with other verbs. Okay? Any other verb. And this I'm going to emphasize yes. in Spanish. Para cualquier otro verbo, cualquiera, solo que no sea el verbo cero estar. I'm going to use this. You see, in the affirmative, I need the past tense of the verb. But in the negative, I use the auxiliary, so I only need the base form. You are I not sharing your the base form. Why? Because the auxiliary is in the past. Can you see it? I did not, or contracted, I didn't, he didn't, she didn't, we didn't, okay? So, didn't is telling us. Didn't me está diciendo, estoy en el pasado ya. So the main verb, base form. Teacher. Yes, sir? We don't see your, your screen. Ah, you don't see my screen, okay, good. You haven't let shared. Me, let me know, let me know. Now, can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. With any verb, any verb, except, solo hay una excepción, the verb to be. With any other verb, like this. In the affirmative, we need the past tense. The past tense. The negative, we need the auxiliary. Didn't, 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 didn't. Contracted. But the main verb, look, base form. I come over here with the question, did. Because did is already in the past, look at the verb, base form. Why? Because did is telling me, hey, we are in the past. So main verb, base form, okay? Now, let's see only affirmative. Let's see only affirmative statements. Can you see? I walked, you played, and you see all, he cooked, she listened. It rained, we ate, they drank. You see, affirmative, all in the past. The verb is all in the past. Can you see it? Now, very good. Exercises. What is the first one? They all? Went shopping. Excellent. They all went shopping. So I need the past tense of go. When? So they all went shopping. What is the number two? The verb is imagine. imagine. What is the past tense? Imagine. Imagined is Imagine. a regular verb. Yeah. So I never imagined I will be. I never imagined I will be. I will see you here. Now let's go for another verb right here. Number six, who? Ate my ate. chocolate. Aha, uh -huh. who ate my chocolate? Okay, very good. So, past tense. Okay. Next, we. Grew. He grew. We grew, exactly. We grew these three from a, from a seed. Okay, hicimos crecer este árbol de una semilla. She, what is the past tense of lose? Lost. Uh -huh. She lost, lost her way home. Now, because they are affirmative sentences, they are, the main <laughs> verb is in the past. Is that clear? 
Now, take a look. I'm gonna go with the negatives now. Only negatives. You see, I didn't walk. He didn't cook. cook. This is in the past. The auxiliary is in the past. The main verb base form. Uh -huh. It didn't rain. We didn't eat. They didn't drink. Okay. And remember, you can you can use did only with all the verbs except with the verb to be. Okay. okay. So exercises. Negative statement. He played handball. So he. He didn't play handball. He didn't play handball. Okay. He didn't play handball. Very easy. Now the next one. Susan. Didn't wait. Didn't wait. Exactly. Didn't wait. 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 Susan didn't wait in the kitchen. You see, very simple. The next one, I made the beds. I didn't make the beds. I didn't make, make the beds. Make because the bed. in case form, I didn't make the beds. Okay? The Take a look. Very easy, very simple. Okay? Next, negatives. Okay, negatives. Can you see? Very simple. The verb base form. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah, yes, teacher. Yes. Now, and I will send you this. You know, uh, in the morning, in the morning, you're gonna have it in the group, this presentation. So you can do it. Okay. Now. Let's see questions. Yes and no questions. You see auxiliary right here. And the same auxiliary works for all the pronouns. Did I walk and look at the verb? Based on why? Because the auxiliary is in the past. Did I walk? Did you play? Did he cook? Did she listen? Did it rain? Did we eat? Did they drink? Okay. Now, double H questions. Where did I go? What did you do? What did he cook? What did you play? Why did she listen? And you see the double H word at the beginning. Then the auxiliary, look. And the, the main verb, base form. Why? Because the auxiliary is already in the past. Okay? Very good. So I have exercises here too. Okay? Do you remember we did this exercise? Now, number four. What is the what is the, the question? What? Hello everybody. What? What? What did they what did what did they do yesterday? Do yesterday. Do uh -huh. yesterday. As simple as that. What did they do yesterday? Very good. Very good. Interesting. Very good. Now. Next. Who did you who did you who meet did at the party? Who did, who did you meet, meet at the party? At the party. Or the party. Okay. Who did you meet at the party? Okay. Very good. That is great, guys. Very good. Okay. Who did you meet at the party? Now the next one. How did she How did she she come to work to work this morning this morning. morning by car by bus by Uber How did she come to work this morning by a pie perdón on foot on foot on foot <laughs> on foot <laughs> or walking or walking. She came and look, and look at the answer. Work. Affirmative. She, she came to work. Look, I'm gonna write the answer right here. She came to work by, no, walking, walking or on foot. Walking. And look here, she no auxiliary because it's affirmative. I need the past tense of the verb. Okay. Right? 
Okay, so that's why you have to be careful. More questions? Okay, and I have more, like I said, okay? Uh, put the verbs in the correct form, simple past. Okay, last year, I spent my holiday in Ireland. It, what is the past it, tense of B? It was. was. Uh -huh. It was, it was. because was. for this subject is was. So it was. It was. Uh-huh, it's been. Okay, now let's go to the next one. I traveled. I, I, I very good. I traveled around the world. Okay, now, very good. Now let's go to this one because it's negative. Ah, this one, we, it was, it we, we were, where to be in the past? We were, we were, we were, we were. right? We were, because he is the bird to be. So he makes his own question. Now the next one. It was, it was, it was it, ah, let me see. No, I don't need that. Ah, it didn't, it didn't rain. It didn't rain. rain. And the verb, base form. Because didn't is in the past. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah, now, look, we are going to do this. Okay. I need you. Okay. I'm going to leave it that way. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to send it to you like this. Okay? I'm going to send it to you like this. Okay. Now, what I need you is that you go to the platform, okay? Now you okay. go to the platform and you start doing the section. And if it is possible, finish all section one. Yeah, teacher, but I didn't understand this. It's okay, I'm going to explain you, okay? If you let me do it, I'm going to help you, okay? okay? Vaya, okay. usted trabaje, vea, ve el video. Trate de hacer las preguntas. Oh, too difficult. I'm going to ask the teacher. No problem. Tomorrow, I'm going to be here to help you. Okay? And I will clear. I'm going to make sure that you understand like you understood tonight. Okay? okay. Now, eh, do you have any questions? Now, Linda. This is how we're supposed to work the platform, okay? You watch the video, you do the exercises. Oh my God, no comprende. No problem. The teacher is here for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, but you have to do your job. Watch the video and try to do the exercise. And whatever you can do, no problem. We have the angel, the teacher, okay? The saber, saber, El Salvador, okay? <laughs> so don't worry. I will always have exercises prepared for you. I will have, I will always have explanations for you, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, do you have any questions now? No. No. Okay, so go ahead, okay. If you don't finish section one, it's okay. I will understand. But try yeah, to well. work. So tomorrow, so tomorrow, you will ask me this question. Teacher, I want you to explain me this, this particularly. Because you already uh, listened to the video. You teacher, already tried to do the homework. Okay? Okay, teacher. I have a question, teacher. Yes, yes, sir. Ask me. Can I complete the uh, section one? You can complete section one, section two, section three, no problem. And do the midterm if you want. Okay, very okay. good. Okay, let me show you. Okay, let me show you. Okay, week one and two, you can do section one, two, three, and the midterm. Okay. Now you can go as far as you can. 
Now, while you are doing that, you had something that it was not clear, pointed out and in the video conference, you asked me, and I will be delighted to explain you. Okay. Okay. I have a question with the videos on YouTube. Uh, can I access the link uh, between the WhatsApp uh, to yes. watch uh, the videos, right? Yes, you can. You can. It, this is for everybody. And let me let me get back to you. I want to see you all. Okay. You have a question, and and at that moment you want answer. Send that question to the WhatsApp. Uh, okay. okay. You can look for my number and call me. And if I am not busy, I will take care of you. No problem. Okay, good. Okay? So I want you to feel confident. Quiero que se sienta en confianza. Okay? okay. No quiero que se siente. El teacher se va a dar cuenta que no sé. No. I am here because I know that sometimes it's confusing and I am here to clear that, to practice and clear that, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Okay, see you tomorrow, work in the platform, please, and we'll be here, okay? With okay. answers, okay? Okay, okay teacher. Thank you, thank you. Bye. Bye. See you later. See you tomorrow you. night. Have a great rest. Okay. Nice to meet you, teacher. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Bye. Hello, teacher. Bye. Bye.